Hebrew is not just a language. For example, let me show you something. If you're learning the English language, what's the first thing you have to learn? You have to learn the alphabet, right? So you have to learn A, B, C, D, E. All right? Okay, so then once you start learning F, oh man, we can go on. I mean, there's a lot more letters. <laughs> but you have to learn the alphabet. And then from the alphabet, okay, you learn words like bad, all right, or bead, okay, or um, dad, okay. It's my dad's birthday, by the way. <laughs> okay, so here we are, okay, you can learn B, all right, we combine these letters and we get words, all right, and these words have meaning, okay. Let me ask you a question. If I say, define the letter A, what does it mean? What will you say? If I say, define the letter B, what does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't have a meaning. It is a letter that only becomes meaningful when it is combined with other letters and vowels. Because without vowels, you don't even have words, okay? However, in Hebrew, it's very different. Let's take a look. So the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Aleph. The second one is Beit. The third one is Gimel. Okay, uh, Gimel. All right. The fourth one is Dalit. And the fifth one, Alit Bet Gimel Dalit, hey. Okay. So, now, I gave you five letters here, A, B, C, D, E. We made words, but they have no meaning. But right now, here we go. The Aleph right from the beginning is a word called Aleph. It doesn't actually have a sound to it. And it means oxen, thousand, teacher, master. And that's kind of just the beginning part of what it means. All right, then we have Bates. Beit means house, dwelling place. Then we have Gimel. Gimel actually has to do with a camel. All right, it's like a camel. Okay. All right, then we have Dalit. And Dalit is the word for door. Okay, so Dalit, all right, Dalit and hay. And hay has to do with to be broken. It's a broken letter, all right? It's the Dalit and a line, so it's kind of a broken letter. Also, it means to take seed and to behold revelation. So this is the hay, and it really has to do with revelation and it has to do with reproduction as well. Absolutely amazing. We've just touched on, touched on the first five letters of the Hebrew alphabet. You put the first two the letter, two letters together and you have really the name of the one who is speaking to mankind throughout the entirety of the Torah, and that is our Father. Of means Father. And the Torah teaches us that He is God, the Father of lights. <laughs>